Ooh, wee Big Mo. Welcome to the Lone Stars, guys and gals. Oh, as you're well aware of out there, you know how much I love my Toro glasses. I love and adore these things, okay? I wear them every day to protect my precious eyeballs. That's well documented. I talk about it all the time. But, but, JR and I have been very busy lately, okay? And the days are getting shorter and shorter. So we're finding ourselves at the end of the day working in dusk or even dark conditions. Or even on a day like today where it's overcast and cloudy. It's hard to see in sunglasses. If only, if only Toro made glasses that uh, were not sunglasses that would protect my precious eyeballs as well. Whoa! What are these? Big Mo, those are Toro's new high definition glasses. They brighten up low lights, reduce fog, they increase depth perception, they improve vision in the rain, and block blue light. They feature TR90 shaped memory frames, anti reflective coating polarization coating, and shatter-resistant lenses. And this all comes with a lifetime warranty. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Uh, Toro was nice enough to send me and JR uh, a pair of these awesome glasses. And I'm telling you right now, it's like night and day, for lack of a better term. Uh, it really brightens things up. You wouldn't believe it unless you try it for yourself. Um, so we're going to take these things and we're going to use them today. Let's go mow. And then afterwards, I'll come back and talk to you some more about these and, and other things. So come on, let's go now. guess the places that I've been You never guess the places that I've been Cause everything is like a dream, yeah But only in that dream that I live in I'm never gonna let the day begin Never gonna let the day begin Cause everything is like a dream, yeah, but only in that dream that I live in Oh, don't wake me up before you go And I'll just make this bed my own Oh, darling, please just let me sleep Give me my dream So, JR, what are your thoughts on the uh, new Toro glasses? Um, I think that it makes everything wider. 
and on a dark rainy day like this it kind of makes everything more clear where you can distinguish between stuff better uh, there you go you heard it here first from jr's own precious lips i can tell you that these toro glasses much like any every other toro product that they make is absolutely fantastic out here on what could be considered a uh you know when i do this when i do this i look what good could be considered as a very dreary day out here at the dark danks trailer park just having these toro glasses on i can tell you has made has brought sunshine into my life for today you know because they do make you feel like it's a sunny day even even when it's cloudy it's amazing they're they're just uh it's amazing how they make everything so much more clear and crisp and bright and you'll know that when you go when you order your own you will understand get you a pair of the sunglasses any any style you want and also get a pair of these for on days like today when you know it's not that it's not that uh nice out i don't know if you'll be able to see i'm gonna try this just for poops and giggles okay but this is what it looks like and i don't know what this is gonna look like you probably can't tell through a camera lens but take my word for it it's amazing it's amazing okay let's move on um yesterday we did the hotels that we do and i don't know if you remember this or if you've seen it in the other video there's this uh, enormous and enormously steep hill um and it's not fun to do at all but and I, I just want to preface this by saying i do not endorse any of you getting out there on any commercial mower and getting on a hill like this because there's a certain amount of danger uh to all of it you know so i don't i don't uh endorse you doing that okay i'm just telling you what i do okay uh what i would do and you could tell me in the comments what you would do you know you may be a, a daredevil or something i don't know i would not get any larger mower or a riding any more especially any more you ride on there's no way in the world i would get it on this hill because you could die doing it because <laughs> that thing if one of those rolls over on you it's not gonna be pretty you know and you know that they're heavy um and it would roll over on you at some point on this hill i'm just saying it right out uh the only thing i could think of that you could do this with if you're not push mowing it or uh something you know push mowing may is really the only logical option and that could even be dangerous um but the only thing i would get on it is the 36 inch mower that's sitting on the trailer over there um that's the only thing i would put on it uh because it can hold that hill e even with that being said what i do is i always keep the wheels if you if you were to do this and i don't suggest that you do this but if you were to use a three foot let's say walk behind mower on a hill like that i would suggest always keeping the wheels the front wheels pointed slightly upward never let if you ever let them go down like this you know you're probably going to go down the hill <laughs> uh so i always you know even if i have to go like I don't even know how to explain this like this as i go <laughs> up it i always keep those wheels pointed in an upward direction 
and also what can happen is i've noticed that even with the wheels in an upward trajectory uh you can if you hit a a rut or something it could it could bounce you have to be really careful because it could bounce that and if you get a bounce it's going to roll that that 36 inch down the hill which it i have no problem with i just let it go and it would go <laughs> you know but i'm not on it i'm not in it i'm not you know connected to it in any way i would just let it go but it would tear the hell out of it you know it, it would destroy it probably rolling down the hill um skags are tough but you know that might put it to the test um so yeah be be weary of that that you could if you hit a rut it could pop that all, all it would take on a hill like that is to give it a little incentive <laughs> and it would go so uh yeah just be careful on hills like that but that was just a little suggestion if you were to uh my number one suggestion is never get never get on a mower that you're on top of and try that because you're going to probably die and if you were to be whatever it is enough to use the the uh, 30 foot on something like that still be careful and try to keep your wheels in the upward upward traje trajectory uh because um if you don't you're probably going to end up just going down the hill um and watch for ruts because it could flip you but yeah it's been a it's been a uh experience on that i'm i'm not looking forward to because the only times i've done it it's been dry i'm not looking forward to if it's ever wet I'm not sure what it's going to do. It may not do any worse than than now because, as you know, dry can you can slide on it too because it's so dry. I don't know how to explain that, but you know how it can be. Sometimes it can be kind of slick because it's so dry. If that makes sense. Um, but we'll see. We'll see next year if it gets wet. And I'm not looking forward to it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to go out and get your Toro glasses. They're awesome. And uh, I can't say, I can't endorse them any more than I am now. It's, they're awesome and I love them and I uh, couldn't do without them. Literally, they're just freaking awesome glasses. So uh, get you, like I said, get you a pair of the sunglasses, get you a pair of these and you're set and um yeah stay safe out there you know keep it sexy you know like uh the lawn stars do you know yeah okay enough of that mumbo jumbo uh see you next time see you on the next video love you mean it until next time big mo signing off Boo! Guess the places that I've been You never guess the places